What's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you the X keys controller for Zoom actually working. If you guys remember, I set this up in a past video. It's so cool. It's making our production so much easier when we do use Zoom with vMix and OBS and different things. So let's check it out. All right, so you guys may remember this video where I set up my standard X Keys 24 for Zoom. And that meant that I had to print out a piece of paper and these little keys actually you can slip in, you can customize them, which is great because you can even have this thing do more, you know, control more than just one application. But you guys may remember I printed that out. I cut out all the little pieces and it was a lot of fun. And now in this video, I'm going to show you how it works with Zoom. Take a, people wanted to see a little bit more detail about how it all works. So I've got it right here and you can see it's backlit. So it's got some uh, kind of lighting to it if you're in a dark scenario. And you can start Zoom right away by clicking the start button, which is nice and handy. Again, this is these all of these keys work directly with Zoom, no matter what window you're in. So that that makes life uh, pretty easy. And let's go ahead and show this off. So first of all, here's the website. It's $150. It's out of stock, meaning right now, if you want one, you need to buy an X keys controller, and then you need to. Uh, get the um, print out and print it out and make it yourself. So once you've done that, uh, there's some instructions here to go through. You download, obviously, Zoom. You uh, use the X keys Zoom loader. This is so easy to use. Essentially, you take this device, plug it into your computer, and you choose whether you are a Zoom participant or a Zoom host a Mac participant or a Mac host. And then you just click that load into the keys button and it is all loaded and ready to go. Now, the next thing to do is you go into your Zoom settings here and you look at the keyboard shortcuts. And inside the keyboard shortcuts here, you have the ability to enable all of these great shortcuts inside of Zoom. And this is what we had to do to make sure that they were all enabled for the X keys to work. So not all of them were showing up for me and I'm not sure why, because I really want to be able to show, uh, remove and hide the meeting controls uh, in Zoom, the control bar. So I hope I'll be able to do that. But uh, I can switch from speaker view, view and all, a lot of great stuff, start and stop video, mute and unmute video. And as you guys know, I imagine here at the Stream Geeks, we host a lot of live streams and it's important for us to be able to make our production lives easy. So when I'm sitting here, you know, right behind the production desk, although I'm not here a lot of times, a lot of times Michael is here, I can do this. But let me, let me do a live demo here. So you could see the X keys right here and you could see Zoom right here. So for example, if I hit the invite participants, this little thing pops up here, popped up on my other screen. Um, if I would like to mute all, boom, I hit the mute all button. Uh, if I would like to leave the meeting, you see that little leave meeting thing pops up there. Uh, if I would like to switch from gallery view to speaker view, that's something that's really important, that quick and easy I like to be able to do. Uh, let's see, muting my own mic. You can see there I'm muting my own mic. Uh, full screen, non-full screen. So simple things to get things started. Start video, turn off video. In fact, that's it's easier to see when you're in gallery view. Um, so, and then push to talk. It's pretty good. That's nice to have. You see that little temporarily unmuted button. Um, volume up and down, I like. That is showing up actually. If I show you this, that is showing up over on my other monitor because, let's see if I'll show you this that volume button is showing up over here just because I think this is monitor one. So some things pop up on monitor one, something, most things obviously are on this monitor over here, which is where zoom actually is. I could start recording. So the idea here is that the job of our 
video production producer. He's running the video production software. He's bringing in remote guests via Zoom. And it's a tough job as it is. So it's nice to be able to have a little controller that just does exactly what he needs inside of Zoom, even starts Zoom, uh, makes things easy. So that is how it works. It's really cool. Wanted to share that with you guys. I'm having a lot of fun with this X Keys for Zoom controller. And you'll be seeing us using it during the Presence Summit, which is coming up soon. The Presence Summit is going to be uh, July 15th. And I wanted to share this really quickly. Um, but you can learn behind the scenes how we're setting up this virtual event, which is so important, I think, for people to get the most out of this. The Presence Summit is a full day of online communication professional development. And if you're interested in how it's all getting set up behind the scenes, I think you can get a lot more out of the event because you'll see how we're live streaming, how we're using Zoom, how we're leveraging social media, how we're doing our interactive learning and the different presentation tracks. So check this out because it goes into our behind the scenes look at the studio and how we're using this X keys for Zoom controller to make the life of a producer who's hosting a virtual event easier. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Remember, don't forget to subscribe. You don't become a video production expert overnight and we're here to help you guys. So let me know what you think about this cool Zoom controller for X keys. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.